Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to find the residential code and to locate the appendix E1 so you can do your thermal uh, compliance reporting for your residents. First, uh, you can get to North Carolina Building Code by typing in free North Carolina Building Code. You should use the top result. Go to 2012, select the residential code. Uh, now, you can go straight to the appendix E here, and you can print just that page 505 to PDF. And if you do that, then you could bring that in as a background for uh, either Word or Excel, and then you could put the information in on top of it. In some cases, you can create a form from a PDF file if you have the correct uh, software. Or you can just print it out on paper, handwrite the information in, and take a picture with your phone. So I'll give you those options. Now, if you do decide to print this to PDF, uh, you can just remember the page number. I think that was 505. And then save. You'll have to remember where you put it. You might want to put uh, page appendix E1. If it works, then you'll have a copy of just that form. So let's just pull that up. And I'm going to pull that up right here. So you can see that I have a copy of that form. Now, depending upon how you've got your, what kind of PDF tools you have, you might want to comment on top of it. So check your tools, and you may be able to mark that up without paying for uh, Adobe Acrobat. So let's see what tools are in the comments. Now I can just add comments. I don't want to do that. Let's see, text boxes. And you can type in text box. Okay, so text box. Uh, and you can move, if you want to do this a lot, you can move that up to the bar. I'm just going to use a text box, and you can put in your name here, and you can control the colors of the box and the, and the font um, by generally by right clicking and changing your text style. I don't know whether you need to use that. Let's say Doug Broad. You could type right into that. The option, other option is just to go ahead and use a pencil and paper. Let's get back to the building code. Over in a chapter 11, which is in energy conservation, you can select your county. Let's say we're in Nash County, that'd be four. And you can look at the, look up by, uh, name, we're in climate zone 4A. Now, the requirements that you'll have to use to copy from this chapter to E1 are listed here. And so, for example, you'd have to copy these values and don't copy uh, like both rows. But like your ceiling would be 38 between joists or 30 continuous. Now 30 continuous means it would be maybe on the top of the roof deck or between the joist and ceiling finish. I mean, that's what continuous is, not interrupted by the joist. And this is between the joist or between the joist plus continuous. So you can put these values into Appendix E1 by just referring to this page. And so this is page I'm not sure which page we're on. There is the 436, and you go straight over to 505 by just navigating this way and put it in here. So 436 takes you back to the page you want. So just navigate that way to get the information into your report.
Imagine 